Hey you guys, today I have this Barbie poolside inspired look for you today. I said today twice. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, it's like a blue eye look with frosty and then a little bit of a deeper blue as the eyeliner. And then on the cheeks, just some bronzing and a little pink and then a bronzy lip as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and please stay tuned to see how I did it. Okay, just so to start off with. Of course, as all Barbie looks, I'm going to take Too Cool by Maybelline. Seriously, this is the perfect eyeshadow base for any Barbie look. Just make sure that's even, as always, because you want your colors on smoothly. Now, the first color I'm going to use is one by Ulta which I haven't used an Ulta eyeshadow in a while, but I really love this one. It's mosaic, and I'm going for a brighter blue this time versus my um, Big Blue C one I did that was greenish, because this is pool inspired, and, and Barbie, of course, so this is a very pigmented blue. Put that all over your lid. Now I'm just going to blend the edges of that out just with a clean blending brush. And then I'm just going to take a peachy color. This is um, from the Wet n Wild uh, Silent Treatment Palette. And I'm just going to blend it with that to warm it up a little. And then I do want a little dimension with this look. Nothing insane. What I'm going to do is take a pencil brush and this uh, another palette. This is a the Rock and Roll Trio by NYX, and I'm taking that darkest blue, and I'm going to trace out the outer V with it, or rather outer C. And then I'm just going to blend that again because you can see it's got some rough edges. And with any Barbie look, you want it to be very airbrushed, so blending is important. Alright, and other than that, this look is pretty much done, um, because, like I said, in my other Barbie looks, Barbie never really had, obviously, a lot of dimension to her eyeshadow. It was pretty much just the eyeshadow. Um, but I am going to take um, just a little bit of Flip Side by Urban Decay, because it will add a pretty tone, and I'm going to kind of put that in the outer bay here. And then for eyeliner, I will be taking I'll be taking Neutrogena Nourishing Eyeliner in Twilight Blue. It's just a pretty like deeper blue. And I'm going to trace out the top and bottom of my lashes. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it in a round shape. So just following the shape of my eye, no weirdness. And definitely I'm not going in the waterline with it. So actually, before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and take, I meant to do this before, so sorry, you could do this before your eyeshadow. I'm going to take Urban Decay's Thin Eyeshadow Pencil, and I'm going to take that on the inner corner and the waterline. It's going to really help give you that doll eye effect because your eyes are going to be very awakened by this champagne colored pencil. Now I'm going to go in with my Neutrogena eyeliner, and I'm going to do what I said, just take that on the lash lines, kind of following the shape of the eye rather than trying to make it very pointed. And I will be using the smudger on the back, just because I find this liner needs a little smudging to look, it will help it look smoother. So, But don't smudge it to make it smoky, you don't want a smoky effect. Um, hopefully you can see what I did there. I made it the thickest point of the eyeliner, kind of the center of the eye here. I will need it a little more. And what that will do, because dolls have these like big eyes, like very round, almond shaped. So what you're, that's going to do is really um, draw the eye up, or when you make it, instead of the thickest part being outer, but the middle. So that's what I did with that, if you didn't notice. Um, go ahead and apply a highlight. I'm going to be using the white color from the trio by NYX. And now I'm going to be applying mascara. I want to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. I love this because it separates them and gives them 
very dark look so perfect for a Barbie look so I'm gonna apply that top and bottom and then we'll move on to cheeks and lips okay so there's the finished eye look as far as the face I already applied a little but I'll go ahead and put a little more on to show you I'm gonna definitely want to sculpt out these cheekbones. So I'm going to take my Princess Bronzer by Wet n Wild and sculpt my cheeks. And for more on um, for more on contouring the face with bronzer and all that, go ahead and check out my Blake Lively video. I'd really talk about that. Now that's for sculpting. Now I'm going to take a little bronzer and just bronze up the face by two, instead of doing the low points of the face, the high points. And that's because you obviously a look you want a sun kiss look to your face and you can see I'm just using a fluffier brush for this so it's not as um, placed I guess okay so that will just bronze it up now for blush uh, you could use any blush obviously but for this particular look I will be taking a bit of Tarte um, blush in Doll Face, and it's matte. What I kind of like about that is the eyes are a little frostier, so you want a kind of matte face. Plus, it's called Doll Face, so you gotta assume it works for a Barbie look, and it's just a soft pink. And um, with this look, I am applying more to my apples than I generally would because, again, the doll look is like the apples. Normally, I kind of go straight up application works better for this look finally got that out now as far as the lips I'm actually going to be keeping them fairly simple I want kind of a bronze look so I'm just going to be taking gloss this is Revlon's um, super lustrous lip gloss in foil and it's going to give you that bronze look to your lips Okay, so there's the finished Barbie poolside look. You can see just a simple frosty blue eye with some bronzed up cheeks and lips to go with it. Um, I really am enjoying this Barbie series, so please let me know if you want to see more looks from this. I obviously, I have a few ideas myself, but I love to get your guys' contribution, so please do let me know. I like it because it's got the blue tones on the eye, but it's not overdone. Like, it's not too in your face blue, but it's still definitely blue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Be sure to like it if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you around. Bye!